Hey everybody, it's Rent with you again. We're going to be doing another episode of LSPDFR. If you've noticed, I've changed my uniform a little bit. I'm a captain now. Uh, and I actually went in and I put my name on my name badge. Uh, the only thing I don't have is the, the number of years serving, uh, that kind of thing. Uh, today I have a special car. It was released a couple weeks ago and it was previewed by Officer First 30 Minutes. And uh, I liked it minus the light bar, so I'm going to go ahead and just do a slick top like he did. Uh, I have gone in and adjusted the skin, kind of made the skin to fit in with my Blaine County skins that I use in my normal games. Uh, giant thanks to everybody watching my videos. I know I've put a couple out uh, this last week that uh, people have kind of grabbed onto. Uh, I know that I said I was going to try to make the uh, Greenshire County stuff uh, a lot more legit, uh, but you know we decided to have fun, and it was my first episode, so... Uh, Seas of the Monkey may not return, but it was fun to do it in, the, in nonetheless. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead. I am on duty. I have marked myself unavailable for calls. We're going to walk out. We're going to check out this nice ride we've got today. Uh, never got to see one up close and personal. I've seen a couple out on the road, but there it is. It's the new Chevrolet Police Package Crown, or excuse me, the Chevrolet uh, Caprice Police patrol vehicle is what they're calling it, the PPV. Now, the one thing about it, about this car that I really like is it comes in a multitude of variations. Uh, it's only available for a fleet market, which means it's only available for uh, police, fire, and EMS. However, um, it does have the V8 capability that it has uh, from GM. Uh, I think uh, Ghost Rider actually looked it up for me. And it's something like 350 to 360 horsepower. Uh, in the last video, I was actually talking about it. Uh, it kind of gave out uh, its its specifics. And it does have the V8 sound package in it. So uh, we're going to double check our weapons. Right now we have a pistol. We have a stun gun. We have a rifle. We have a shotgun. And, of course, we're unarmed and nightstick and flashlight. So with that said... We've got all of our stuff, and I'm going to go ahead and get in the vehicle. We're going to give it a good test uh, to make sure that everything works. We're going to mark ourselves on duty and available. And there's the lights. Uh, actually, the lights up pretty good um, all the way around. Um, I'm a little close to the fence, but you get to see uh, really what I think this car is all about. So there's that. We're going to check the screamer. It all works. We're going to get out here. We're going to get on the road, and we're going to see what we can get into. So, guys, thanks for coming along. Oh, that truck just went around because he could. So... We're going to go ahead and jump up here. We're going to check this guy out real quick. So, dispatch 222, need a plate check on a black bison. 28 Ida Boy Paul 559. Suspect's license plate. 28 Ida Boy Paul 559, a possible stolen vehicle. Alright, so. Comes back as stolen, so I'm going to get this guy off the side of the road. And we're going to quit mimicking him. We're going to try to put as much of our car between us, between him and us, as we can. Uh, dispatch 222. I'll be out uh, US Route 1, uh, eastbound lanes, just outside of the north end of Polito Bay. Alrighty, so. I've already checked the vehicle. I'm going to turn around and look. Cars are kind of moved over for us. We're going to go ahead and walk up on this guy. And I've had a bunch of people asking me for first person perspectives. So he's got a couple toolboxes back there. Hi there, sir. Uh, Captain Runt with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Need your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance. If you have it, please. All right, Mr. Knowles. I'll be back with you in just a second. I stopped you because you uh, kind of did a harebrained move. You were over in the turn lane and decided to go straight. Uh, no signal or anything like that. So just stick with me for a second. I'll be right back. 
Alrighty, so. Now you guys notice I'm walking backwards here. And that's kind of how I would do it in the real world. Uh, probably a little more looking back behind me, but we're going to go ahead and sit down in this vehicle. We're going to check out the interior real quick. Computer and watch guard and stuff like that. We're going to go ahead and pull up ye olde police computer. We're going to check this fella out. So, Jacob Knowles. Uh, stopped two times. He's been cited twice. No warrants. And we're going to double check the vehicle database again. Vehicles reported stolen by Jacob Knowles. All right, so this is a case of it's still in our system is stolen, but the owner is actually driving the vehicle. So we're going to let him know that it is still showing stolen, or stolen, I should say. And then we're going to let him know that he's the lucky recipient of a ticket for day, today. Um, hey there, Mr. Knowles. It's Captain Run again. Uh, you know your vehicle was reported stolen, so uh, it's still coming back as stolen in my, my database. So you need to go ahead and call and, and double check it. You've got your vehicle back. You need to report it to us that you've got it back. But the bad news for the day is I'm going to give you a citation for $150 for, let's see, I'm going to call it a traffic light offense, being as you... Uh, went ahead and pulled around another vehicle to continue straight because they weren't going at your pace. So what I need you to do is go ahead and just stay with me for a second while we go ahead and fill this ticket out. Generally, I would fill the ticket out in the vehicle, so I'm not up here with all that. So, Mr. Knowles, here's your information back. Here's your citation. Have a better day, sir. Well, maybe because I hit the wrong button, we're actually going to give the guy the ticket this time. So, all as I said before, don't run me over. That was my fault. Well, we're going to go ahead and get ragdolled into the dirt again. <laughs> this is why I don't really care for first person. So anyhow, there's that. We're going to go ahead and get in our vehicle, I think. Or not. What in the world is going on? Oh, we're still in the citation animation. Alright, so now we're moving around again. We're going to go ahead and get in our vehicle. We're going to go ahead and turn off the light bar. Check behind us. Uh, and mosey out into traffic. So hopefully we don't hit anybody. They don't hit us. And I can't use my mirrors. So we're going to go ahead and patrol on down the way here. And uh, see what's going on. See what else we can find out here in the mean streets of Polito Bay on the north end of Blaine County. So we're going to come up here, probably pull through, uh, stop in at a store up here, the Rocket Mart is what I call it, and uh, get us a cup of coffee. It is about a quarter after six in the morning, so we'll go ahead and do that. Who knows? So make ourselves available for calls go ahead and get moving again dispatch 222 I'll be clear that traffic stop one issued uh, reckless we don't need the diner we need the rocket mark we're gonna go get us a cup of coffee I think stop up here at this 24-7. Get out of the car. Like I said, we're going to do our uh, our best at getting the 
the first person that y'all are asking for. I'm going to try to do as much of this patrol in first person as we can. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'll take a... Oh, I can't buy anything. Well, the limitations of LSPDFR are beyond reproach. So, anyway. I'm going to come over here, look around. Hmm, look, donuts. Too bad I don't like sweets. Well, anyhow. We'll go out here and hop back in the car and probably head back uh, what's considered westbound through uh, Polito Bay. And, uh... Oh, gunfire? Anyhow, maybe it's a hunter. Now, if you've noticed, I actually have turned off all the dots on my map. I found all of them that, uh, all of the plugins that I use that have dots, that throw up dots. Um, it took a little while to, to find them, but boy, we got them, finally. Well, so far we haven't got anything out of the complete realm of possibility. We've got a couple, uh, couple guys breaking traffic laws. Nothing major. Looks like Polito Bay's pretty behaved as it is right now. Uh, some gunfire going on earlier. I think that might have been somebody just out on the, the beach uh, test firing or something like that or target practicing. That's what we're going to say it is anyway. Black bison stolen. What's this guy's play? 157, it was behind us. Alrighty. Yep. Dispatch 222, need a plate check on a black bison. 4-2, uh, Victor... Boy, Lincoln, 157, uh, possible stolen. Suspect license plate, 4, 2, Victor, Boy, Lincoln, 157, a possible stolen vehicle. All right, buddy, this isn't going to do it. So I'm going to try to get him. Right there. Perfect. We're going to get up here. We're going to be pretty darn close to him. So, dispatch 222. I'll be out on uh, Procopio and Polito uh, northbound uh, with that black bison uh, solo felony stop. Or, or no, sorry, not solo felony. Anyway, we're going to get out of the car, we're going to walk up on this guy, possible stolen vehicle, and like I said before, we're going to go ahead and do this in first person. Oh, if something weird happens, you guys get to see it first. Hi there, sir. I'm Captain Runt with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. Need your driver's license, registration, proof of insurance if you have it, please. Alright, Mr. Rockford. Uh, the reason I stopped you is because uh, your truck is coming back stolen, so... Just give me a second, don't do anything really crazy, and we'll get this handled and, and sorted out as quick as we can, okay? So, that's that, and we're not going to turn our back on this guy. We're going to come back here, and we're going to go ahead and get in our vehicle. So far, the guy's compliant and all that, and I generally wouldn't be doing this as far as... Oh, and he has an active warrant. I don't know what the warrant is for, 
but that's even better. Gus Hayes. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, Mr. Rockford. I need you to go ahead and just get out of the vehicle for me. It's not the end of the world, buddy. So, just stay right there for a second. You are under arrest. You have a warrant. So, I need you to just go ahead and just stay right here with me. So, we're going to go ahead and grab a hold of this guy. We're going to walk him out on the other side of the sign and post here. That way our vehicles are there. And I'm going to keep an eye on this vehicle. Mr. Rockford, you got anything in your pockets? Any weapons of mass destruction, hand grenades, rocket launchers, or anything like that? And we're going to say he says no. And if we find anything, then... Attention, this is dispatch. We've got a person well, resisting arrest. And police are Nothing I can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. Dispatch 222. We'll be hitting up there as soon as we can. Uh, we still have our subject here, so... Uh, Anyway, we're going to go over here and we're going to search the vehicle, see what it has in it uh, by clipping through the door. Run around our car to get to the back of the truck. Mess around with the toolboxes in the back of it. Or it looks like ammo boxes, really. And come up here next to this cactus. Hopefully, we don't get stuck too bad. Nothing of interest. Fantastic. Dispatch 222. Send me somebody for this guy. Assistance needed for a suspect placed under arrest in Palato Bay. Copy that. On the way. Roger. Alrighty. Now we're going to go ahead and call for this guy. Uh, we're going to call for his uh, insurance company. We'll walk back to our car. Hopefully go ahead and jump in the car, put police radio away. You good? Those guys are here. We're going to go ahead. Oh, you idiot. Oh, wow. Alrighty, so we're running code two, this officer assistance call. Alrighty. Holy cow. They're up on the dirt road up there. Coming back this way. Fantastic. Dispatch 222. I'm clear off that traffic stop. And it uh, looks like that officer caught their subject. Alrighty. So we're going to. That's handled. Woohoo. Polito Bay PD in th their glory. So. That's that. We're going to go ahead and try to back down this, this road, being as there's nowhere for me to turn around really. And away we go, guys. This is a pretty good day so far. Minus the dirt mapping on my car being all weird. Oh, and by the way... Uh, guys, I just remembered, I kind of spontaneously put it out that I was going to do it, uh, or at least ask the question, and I had quite a few people answer yes, that I should. Uh, tomorrow at 3 o'clock p.m. Uh, Central Daylight Time, I am going to be doing a live stream of ATS on the Truckers MP American server. 
Uh, if I'm not mistaken, right now, my character is actually stuck in Elko, Nevada. So if you guys want to join me on that, we'll do a convoy somewhere. Uh, we'll chat and carry on and uh, have a good time together. So dispatch 222, I uh, need a plate check for parking. It's on a black Sentinel, 64 Ocean John Ocean 105. Target license plate. Six four ocean John Ocean one zero five no ten ninety nine. All right. Hopefully, uh, I don't do what Jeff does all the time. Now the reason why I'm giving them a parking ticket is they're parked uh, in basically oncoming lanes and they're kind of hanging out there. Uh, so uh, that is against the law. So hopefully they don't. Ha <laughs> ha. He didn't break the window. Woohoo! And there it is. We have an illegally parked vehicle in Palato Bay. Target vehicle license plate. Uh, six four Ocean John Ocean one zero five. Proceed with patrol. Dispatch twenty two. I also have one more here. It's going to be on a. Uh, Black Body, 60 Boy Union, Lincoln, 736. Target license plate, 60 Boy Union, Lincoln, 736, a possible stolen vehicle. And dispatch 222, receive, thank you. Can you go ahead and send a uh, truck for this? I'll go ahead and secure it for them. So, hey, that's... Uh, what happens when you, uh, oh, what in the blazes? Lady, you get over here. Put the gun away. Uh, oh, she winged us. Dispatch 222, I need EMS en route. Uh, just had a shooting with uh, subject carrying units. a pistol Medical across the way. In uh, Palato Bay, officers report a civilian shot. Dispatch units from um, Palato Bay, units respond code 3. Yep, sure is. Be careful with and, it. And um, ambulance is en route. Alrighty, they're gonna go check on her. <sighs> well, sorry, I missed this person's dirt up. I would say grass, but. Come on, guy. You can do it. There you go. All right. Now we get to figure out what her problem was and why she decided to pull a gun on a cop. Uh, you're going to jail, miss, for a very long time. So, all righty. They're going to go ahead and clear off of here. Once they clear off of here, we're going to clear off of here and we're going to see what's going on. While that's happening, guys, I know it's not legit, but I'm going to go ahead and clean up my uniform. And I'm going to put my armor back on. So, there's that. All units, code four. <laughs> I clipped her in the head. And he clipped, uh... Alrighty, well... Alrighty, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. I know I said I was going to try to keep this as uh, first person as I could, but I was just doing traffic stop. Or not traffic stops, I wasn't even doing a traffic stop. I was doing a, a parking ticket and got into a shootout. So, Hey there, what's up buddy? Alrighty, 
down along the promenade we go, and that's going to be our Polito Bay Patrol, I think. Uh, so. Now, like I said, I am going to be doing a... What in the world? Or gunfire. Alrighty. Dispatch 222. Need a plate check on a... Uh, Silver Bagger, 401 Edward <laughs> Adam Fox, uh, 818. Let's all remain calm. Target license plate, 41 Edward Adam Frank, 818, no 1099. I'm going to go ahead and hop on this guy's bike and move it down the street. It's not stolen, but that's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and cite it, though. Dispatch 222. I'm going to be citing that vehicle for parking. Uh, it's going to be on Procopio Promenade, uh, just off of the turnoff. We have an illegally parked vehicle on Procopio Promenade. Target vehicle license plate. Uh... Four, one, Edward, a Frank, eight, one, eight. Proceed with patrol. Alrighty, well, that's that. Let's go up to the the boardwalk and see what else we can find. I've got a couple other ideas coming down the pipe, guys. Um, I have got a piece of hardware here recently that uh, I've been trying out. Uh, going to try to do some more uh, ATS, uh, maybe mix it in some of my Tuesday, Thursday videos. Um, definitely planning on doing some live streaming of American Truck Sim, especially getting in and, and hanging out with you guys, uh, watching everything. Uh, I have been tossing around the idea of a Patreon page. Uh, not real sure whether or not I want to do that approach or not, but uh, I've got a bunch of stuff. I've got people requesting to do stuff. Uh, not that I want to charge you guys money or anything like that, but, uh, if, because I've had a few people ask if they could donate to me or whatever, and I just think, I think Patreon would be a way that, uh, basically a third party intermediary, that way I'm not just, just giving everybody my PayPal, uh, information, uh, it would actually be going through another circuit there, um, not that I think any of you guys that are watching my videos have tried to do anything. It's just that I don't really feel comfortable putting that information out there. So, um, long story short, I am thinking about doing that. If you guys think it's a good idea, let me know for sure. Uh, 100%. If you think it's a bad idea, let me know. Uh, either way, um, I'll listen to you. Uh, I, I may or may not put it up. Like I said, I, I don't know at this point uh, exactly exactly. But uh, that and, uh, like I said, I'm wanting to do some more games. I'm wanting to get into ATS, ETS2, uh, that kind of stuff. Maybe some train sim. I've never done train sim, but I'm interested in it. Um, let me make sure I'm, yeah, I am available. Um, that kind of thing. Um, I've got some ideas for LSPDFR uh, that I want to do. I've been talking to quite a few people about getting some some unique patrols or unique perspectives done. Um, I've been uh, pitching around the idea about getting Rainbow Six and kind of doing some some tactical operations in a much more tactical environment, kind of. Um, I've been tossing around the idea of doing uh, some some prison architect like Fincone. Um, you know, it's just all kinds of different things. I have been reading all your comments, and I think I may go in and I may do another British patrol. Uh, just because I think I can do better. Uh, now that I know a little bit more about what's going on, like the the uh, provincial license and stuff like that. Um, uh, with the learner's permit and the L tags and uh, not asking for an MOT, because MOT is basically an inspection sticker. I thought it was more more akin to a registration than it actually was. 
Um, and I found out that financial responsibility is required, but financial responsibility isn't generally asked for uh, unless somebody's been involved in an accident or, or... Oh, what is your malfunction? Well, this guy just won himself a ticket. Get over in front of me. Dispatch 222. I was just involved in a uh, rare NTC. A vehicle tried to get around me. Uh, a black fugitive. 67 Boy Sam Ocean 067. Uh, we're going to be on East US Route 1. Uh, Target just Texas, north of the cable car. 6-7 Boy Sam Ocean 067. Proceed with caution. 222 receive, thank you. All right, buddy. Uh, Captain Run with the Blaine County Sheriff's Department. I'm pretty sure you know that I'm a sheriff. Uh, and you hit my car and then tried to drive off. Uh, let me have your driver's license. I'm not even going to say hello and all that. All right, uh, Mr. Aziz. Uh, you need to hang out with me just for a second, all right? Now, this guy is, and I know I forgot to go in first person, but that's just aggravating as heck. So we're going to go ahead and run this guy's license. We're going to make sure that it's expired. If it is, the guy's now walking. I'm not even going to do him the decency of, yep, it is expired, uh, and he has no insurance. So we're going to go ahead and... Uh, basically uh, use part of Albo's British police or not British policing script Albo's LSPDFR plus and we're going to issue this guy a ticket for $250 for trying to flee the scene of an accident uh, as well as the f basically mandatory court appearance so we're just going to ramp it up to $3,000 And careless driving looks good. We're going to go ahead and seize his vehicle uh, because we're not going to allow it to sit on the side of the road here. Generally, this isn't a seizure. Uh, this would be, I'm just, I'm not going to let it sit here on the side of the road. You don't have any insurance. Uh, so pick a tow, co tow company. They're going to move it for you. means you don't have the, the privileges of driving anymore. So... And don't get hit by a car. Well, karma. Well, anyway, guys, now dispatch 222. I'll be clear. Uh, one issued vehicle's been towed. We're going to go ahead and jump out here into traffic. Uh, and take our busted car back to the Polito Bay PD, and we're going to call it a day. So, uh, plan is tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central Daylight Time, I'm going to be doing a live stream of ATS multiplayer on the American server. Um, from there, um, I've got some ATS MP videos coming out with uh, Your Grace, which I did a, uh, a stunt race series with him, or not a series, I should say, I did a... a group of races with him and it was an absolute riot the guy's fun uh and very comical uh, as well as i was in there with sergeant manley um next week is uh gonna be filled up with some more lspdfr i've got some ideas about what i want to do i'm not going to really let the cat out of the bag on that wow hydraulics on the tow truck um anyway I'm going to get over here and get around the building so we don't see anything and I get, don't get distracted anymore. So. Now, to get back to it. Um, I have some stuff coming up. 
that I think you guys are going to enjoy this next week coming up. I should have some ATS multiplayer videos coming up uh, that I've talked to you about just a second ago. Uh, as well as my LSPDFR videos and another GCSO FR patrol that I'm going to do. So, uh, next, not this Saturday, tomorrow, but the Saturday after next, the 10th of September, is going to be, guess what, a LSPDFR live stream. Uh, same time, same bat channel, whole nine yards. Guys, let me know about the Patreon thing. If you think that it's a good idea, great. If you don't, let me know. Let You know, you guys are what keep me going. So, with that said, guys, it's been a blast, and can't wait to see you again. So, until next time, bye now.